We're here with Professor David Newmark of University of California, Irvine. He's just given the annual Adam Smith Lecture on Minimum Wages. Could you just, in about 30 to seconds to a minute, give me the key takeaway of your lecture? Sure. So the, the, I think the key takeaway is kind of the, my, what my last slide said. Uh, it's complicated. Um, the minimum wage debate is often boiled down to, I think, two overly simplistic positions. Advocates argue the minimum wage does nothing but raise wages for some people, all good, no costs. Um, critics, often the business community, argue that uh, there's going to be massive job losses and minimum wages are a disaster, uh, you know, do more harm than good. And I'd say neither of those is clearly true. I think that the, the bottom line is uh, minimum wages help some workers. Right? If you, if you keep your job and your hours aren't reduced, uh, and you now are at a higher wage, you're happier, you're better off. If you're in a low-income family, mm -hmm. that family's better off. Um, but the fact is some low-skilled workers, the group we're trying to help, do lose their jobs. There are some hours reductions. Um, so there is some cost. Uh, again, that's not decisive. It means you have to weigh the costs and benefits. Uh, in addition, uh, one of the other key points I make is that um, the minimum wage is really about trying to help poor low-income families. Uh, and the minimum wage does that very ineffectively. And it does it ineffectively essentially because low wage work and being in a low income family, while obviously somewhat related, um, are very weakly related, really not synonymous at all. Um, the, ma the majority of poor families with working age adults actually have zero workers, um, and many minimum wage workers are kind of middle class, upper middle class teens in non poor families. So when you raise the minimum wage, there's a lot of bleeding out of that extra payroll. Um, that doesn't get to poor, um, to poor and low-income families. And as a result, uh, it costs a lot of money in wage increases to get a dollar to a poor family, uh, and the research really doesn't show any link between minimum wage increases and, and reducing poverty.